Hey guys, Steve here. Uh, I want to do a video tonight. Hopefully this won't take too long. Uh, but there's a subject that comes up in my uh, reader email pretty often and it's a little confusing. So I thought I'd throw together a, a video here uh, to try to take some of the confusion out of this. Uh, over the years, probably the last 12 to 15 years, I've written a few pieces of software that allow people to create very basic uh, scroll saw patterns. Now these are, uh, you know, nothing uh, advanced. This is just simply doing key fobs, name plates, uh, different things like that. So these are very basic, uh, but uh, literally thousands of people have downloaded and used these over the years. And um, the people that come along that are new, because these programs have been around so long, some of them are much newer and older than the other ones, and uh, it gets confusing. So I'm going to start out with the very first one I ever did, and this is probably oh at least 15 years ago, so it'll give you an idea uh, how long it's been around. Now I have tested all of these programs on Windows 10. They will all run on Windows 10. They are not Mac compatible. Uh, I do have an online version that will work with the Mac and I'll show you that at the end. Um, what I have here in front of me is a very simple little program that allows you to create nameplates. And all you do is you simply click in this area right here type your name and that's what you're going to get now one thing I didn't do here let me back up and just do my first name to start this pattern out if you use the period key it'll give you that little left leg and then you can do your name and then the uh, question mark key and that'll give you the end of the plate so basically that creates the little uh, desk name plates that you see on executive desk and uh, that was very popular back in the day so I wrote this little program to just simply allow you to do that. Now you can use this slider to change the size of the pattern and you can see over here this is the paper it's going to print out in landscape mode and as you make this bigger it's going to you know print out bigger. Uh, if I had added my uh, if I wanted to make it even bigger if you keep making the stretch this out you'll see that it'll cut the pattern in half and then when you print out the pattern you have to tape it back together if you really want to get very large uh, very simple it's got a print button that allows you to uh, print this pattern uh, it's got a clear button that clears the pattern it has a color selector where instead of a light gray if we wanted to make the pattern pure black we can do that uh, and then of course there's a little uh, about screen here button that does that. Now one thing that confuses people about this very old program is I did include uh, an option in this that has a list of uh, several of the most common male and some of the, uh, several of the most common female names and it was just something I did back in the day it's really not very useful some people get confused and they think they have to select from those lists and you don't you can just type on the screen any name you want and it'll make that pattern for you. Um, you do have a choice of three different fonts in this program. You've got the one we're looking at here. You've got this font and you've got this font. So you can change this up a little bit and uh, make it look a little bit different. But you cannot load uh, fonts off of your computer that are already installed. It has to be one of these three. Again, this was back in the day, a lot of years ago. So very basic program and that's all it does is it makes those little key names. This one is on the blog and you have to scroll down to near the bottom of the blog to find it. But it's called Scroll Saw Pattern Printer and uh, you'll find it there and you'll find the download link to it. Just download it to your PC, uh, uncompress it and install it and uh, you can start making these nameplates. Okay, that's the first program. Then uh, a few years later or a couple years later, I guess it probably was, I came up with this program and it's called the Scroll Saw Keychain Maker. And what this allows you to do is have a key fob that looks like this that you can then print out, put your chain through here, and uh, you've got your key fob. Now, the way this one works is you used to have to use a couple of special keys too, and it shows you up here what they are. But you're going to use the period key and the forward slash key or the question mark key. So I'm going to hit the period key, the name, the question mark key and I'm good to go. Now again this has print, clear, um, where you can change the color of the way the pattern prints out and 
basically that's all it does it makes these little key fobs uh, occasionally some of the um, letters look a little funky like this one right here it looks like that space between the E and the and the K are a little off it's just a proportional spacing of that font and uh, some look better than others so you just have to try it until you find out what you like again you can change the color of this pattern just like you could the other so depending on how you want to print it you can make it any color you want now you'll see some lines in here and as you uh, make this key fob bigger or smaller these lines are there they won't show up on the actual printout you do as a matter of fact I don't know if you'll be able to see this but here is a printout of one that I did uh, just before I started here and you can see that it's a fairly solid printout pretty easy to follow on the scroll saw uh, a lot of people like to change the color to light gray just to keep from using quite so much ink and uh, let me go back and show you this one also here's a printout that I did for the uh, uh, the one I the program I showed you just before this so you can see is uh, in a landscape mode it uh, filled up most of the page just with my first name Okay, that's program number two. That came a couple years after the first one. Now, these first two programs are so old that there are some printers that will not work with these two programs. Uh, some of the newer printers, they just don't support them. But these are free to download. You can download, give them a try. If they work, great. If they don't, then uh, they're no longer supported as far as me doing updates to them. Uh, so it is what it is. Okay, then, just for fun... I came up with the scroll saw workshop oval keychain pattern maker and it does just exactly what the name says it creates a different type of key fob and I made it specifically because I was making these oval keychains where I would cut out the lettering and then use a product called inlace to uh, put an inlay in the cutout and uh, to do this this was actually cut out of two 1 8 inch thick pieces of wood and uh, there's the front with the letters cut out and then a solid backer and I'll show you the printout from that and when you print this one out uh, let's see if you can see it here it'll print the pattern and then it'll also print just a copy of the pattern for a backer board that's just plain without the text on it. You put these two together and you can fill these in with an inlay. Now obviously you don't have to use the inlay. They look fine just you know cut from wood. So that's what it does. Now again it's the same deal. You come over here to enter your text. You type in your text. You have the ability here to change the length of the oval and you can see down here the scale. That would be like a five inch key fob which would be pretty big. Uh, you can change the size of the text up and down. You can change the position of the text left to right and then you can also change the spacing between the letters depending on what you want to do. And it shows you over here an approximation of the size of the uh, key fob that you're printing out. So that will do the oval key fobs. Again, that's all it does. Very simple uh, program. It does show down here some links to uh, a video series and I can't remember if these links are still uh, live or not. It's been so many years I don't remember. Uh, but anyway, you can try those out and it'll give you an explanation uh, about the details of this. On this one, you have the print button. You can also export the pattern. If, you, if it, for some reason the printer doesn't work, you can export it as a bitmap and then load it into any paint program and print it from there. Uh, just something that gave you the ability to save the pattern so you could print it over and over. Uh, it's got a reset screen, uh, you know, it resets the size back to the basic size. And again, very simple. That's all it does, oval keychains. That's also called Scroll Saw Workshop Oval Keychain Pattern Maker. Again, if you scroll down the blog, all these programs are uh, on the front page of the blog. You just have to scroll way down to find them. Okay, last uh, desktop program is the one that I call the Scroll Saw Workshop Stencil Printer. Now this one is a little bit more advanced. Uh, I kind of went through and added some of the uh, different features people had been asked for. It still does a lot of the same things. Uh, over here, if we type in our name, and let's select, we can select a different font on this one. So I'll just go through and select a, a basic font. Now in this case, we can use any font we want. So see, we've got a nice fancy font there. Uh, I can turn on the base and I can make the font size a little bigger. I can make the pattern a little smaller. Uh, I can come down here and make this like this. So now I could print this out as a, a uh, 
desk plate nameplate but what makes this one different is I can select any of these different fonts that I have installed on my computer so it lets you uh, use basically any font that you have available on your computer to use for your nameplate so it adds quite a bit of extra uh, ability uh, to design your pattern it will do that uh, you can also turn the base off and uh, use it to create a, um, uh, a key fob in a way where you can actually come down here to where you see where the corners if we move this up it'll turn this blank into an oval and then we can select a font that is a stencil type font let's see if I can find one here's one we'll just do a very basic stencil font and now we can move this font around, center it up on our key fob, and we can turn the solid off and just make the outline if we want. Uh, and then when we print this out, it'll print this out as a round shape, though it'll have a box around it where uh, uh, you can actually see the outline. So you print this all out, drill your hole right there, and you've got a, an oval style key fob. Uh, you can also, because you can use any font, you can use the font that was installed uh, for the uh, other, let's see if I can find the name of it, I can't remember the name of the font, uh, the font that we used in the uh, second program where it made the key fob, uh, let's see if I can find it here without taking too much time. You can see that here we actually have those fonts installed that I used for the uh, the other program, so we could use that to make a nameplate uh, if we wanted to use that particular font we could use that as a nameplate uh, let's turn that off so you could print that out a little bit different but it's just using a font instead of using the built-in base there's the built-in base we don't have to use that if we use that font uh, again I can't find that font but I have a font that gets installed with this program that will let you do the oval key chains that I tried to show you earlier so that's that here it is called my chain if we select this font now we can go back and use those same special keys the period key and the question mark key to create that same type of key fob so this this program which is the final program that I wrote uh, tried to incorporate all the different features uh, that the other programs had but in a little better interface and being able to use multiple fonts that was the main thing uh, you select the fonts here you can also save the patterns in this program which you can't do in the others you can print select your font export it to a BMP export it to a PDF it's got a font viewer built in so you can open this up and scroll down through all the fonts you have installed so you can you know pick the font you want to use for your pattern uh, let's see what else have we got uh, reset which sets everything back to normal uh, so we can start over again and that's pretty much it uh, just the extra font let's, let me take another look we can save it export it print it exit so there you go those are the four programs uh, that I have written to allow you to create very basic scroll saw patterns and I know a lot of people have been interested in this because they've been literally downloaded uh, hundreds of thousands of times so there's a lot of people out there using them and over the years it's become a little confusing because I kept starting over instead of trying to update the original program uh, so let me go online now and show you if you have a Mac and you cannot use these other programs I was just showing you uh, on your Mac because they're PC only you can come to stevedgood.com slash stencil and I'll put the uh, link uh, to this page in the description below and this gives you a couple of the features that you had in those other programs you can see over here that same key fob we've been working on if we go down here type in our name then we've got our name of our key fob you've got these same type of scrollers where you can move and change the size of the pattern and so you've got the keychain and then you've also got the nameplate so same two type of designs that you can build online just like this uh, when you hit save and download it'll download it as a PDF and you can print it out from the PDF the one thing that this program does uh, that the others don't 
let me open that back up. If we hit add new, now we can do a second one. And we can have multiples of these on a single sheet of paper, which you can't do on the other programs. So in this case, we got our um, key fob and our nameplate set to be printed out. So something a little interesting there for you to work with. So if you have a Mac or if you like to use this online version with your PC, uh, this also will work on an iPad. Uh, it'll work on a Linux box. So this this version is available as is uh, compatible with just about any computer. So there's five different programs to let you create these very basic little personalized uh, patterns uh, that a lot of people, like I said, a lot of people have enjoyed using these. And uh, so I just wanted to make a video to clear up some of the details. I do have videos available for that are more detailed for the use of these programs in my YouTube channel. And if you're interested in those, uh, let me know and I'll get you the link to them. Okay, I'm going to try to cut this off. It's already too long. Uh, thanks for being here with me at the Scroll Saw Workshop. And we'll talk to you next time.